Hello everyone, it's finally here, my Hobonichi 2023 haul. It's the first time I bought directly from the website and just to inspect the box. Um, it got here on a rainy day. I bought it from the website on September 1, right on its opening hour at 11 a.m. Japan time. And then I got this on Saturday, September 10, so it wasn't that bad of a wait. Although when I did receive it, it was raining quite hard and I I had to inspect the box and turns out it's a little bit beaten up but it's not so bad. I guess the only major damage to my box is on the bottom side. Yeah, it's quite ripped because of the FedEx packet that they stick. I had to rip it off because it was wet and I just couldn't keep it that way. This year they came out with this red brick color and I like it. So if you open it, there's this poem that they do every year. So this year it says, It's okay if it were a lie or a joke. Try saying I had something good today too. And then close your eyes. Something as good as a tiny stone is rolling here and there more often than you think. That's really nice. So the first thing that greets me when I open the box is this freebie for 2023. It's the pouch bag that I will definitely use for my A6. And then um, the accessories come first. So this one is the railway map. I'm really glad that they made this available for international customers. Being a huge fan of the Japanese railway system and I think it's just a really nice addition to my A6 because I like imagining that I do live in Japan. I quite miss the place and I would like to explore it more one day. So the next item here is the Tokyo Tower bookmark. So this item comes directly from the Tokyo Tower official shop and I know that a lot of you would pair this with the Tokyo Metronome A6 cover or even the A5 cover but that isn't the cover that I chose although I do like its red color and I think that it will still be able to pair very well with my with the A6 cover that I chose. So it has this nice description at the back of Tokyo Tower, the history and the facts and the details of the building. I think it's a very nice design and I do like the red tassel. Very very nice. It feels like a souvenir that you would get when you visit it. This is a collaboration with Tokyo National Museum. This is the Shibata Zeshin postcard set of five and the first postcard design here is actually the same design that they used on the A6 cover, small white butterfly and I really like it. I like the gradient colors from the yellow to the green. Here we have the details, so this was printed. The original artwork was printed during the Meiji period in the 19th century. So there are five different designs inside, but I've yet to open that. And the next accessory here is the Yuka Hiragi cover on cover. This year it's called Light in the Distance and I really, really like the design this time. It has a constellation theme and just zooming in on the different parts of the cover. I think it's really pretty and I can't wait to use it on one of my basic color covers. So I have the Dreamy Soda one and I think this would fit in really nicely. So this second clear cover is the one for the week size so I got it just in case I ever get a basic colored weeks just in case I just didn't want to miss out on the design 
So here is the A6 cover that I picked out this year. It is the Tender Heart A6 cover featuring the mother polar bear and her cubs. So I think it was just a very heartwarming cover and I find these little cubs adorable here at the back. And I do like the cotton material used for this. It's very clean. And it's quite thicker than I thought it'd be. It's much prettier too in person than it looks on the website. And I like this cub over here. This design is by Izumi Shiokawa. It's a lovely, lovely design. And as I mentioned, it's quite thick. The material is thicker than I expected. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is made out of cotton and especially this side, it's quite thick. So I'll see how it fits into a clear cover. Looking forward to using this. Okay, so what's underneath? Let's see. So here are the books that I ordered. So here's the A6. But um, let's see the freebie pen first. So this is the freebie pens that they have this year. It's in a brown and navy blue color. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be when I first saw the photos. It's definitely much better in person and I like the silver details there they use a silver ink for the Hobonichi Techo at the side and I think that's a great detail I also got one deco rush I got this one what's for snack so here it says Oyatsu Oyatsu wa nani? So what's for snack? And here we finally have my A6 2023 book. I chose the original Japanese version and also the Monday Stark version. So I use it for my daily journaling and I'm looking forward to using it next year as well. It's been like my best friend, it's seen my highs and my lows of the year and it's also where I pour out my prayers and also the little details of my everyday life. Next here we have my weeks. So. Last year, I also bought two weeks and I did the same this year because I just couldn't decide on having just one and I really like both designs enough to get both of them. So the first one is this one, Shibata Zeshin, Plate of Confectionaries. I got it in Japanese because I was thinking of using this as my Japanese language notebook, so I'll be using it for studying the Japanese language and I hope to do it every week and to be very consistent about this. I think that the cover has a very Japanese vibe and that it will inspire me to truly study and take to heart the Japanese language. So I think the Japanese quotes inside will also really help my reading. And this one here is the Bunnies Weeks. It's a bow and tie week's cover and this time I chose it in English because I wanted to see what the English version is like. So I really like that I have the bunny with the clover leaf over there and another one over here. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's um, the packaging is covering it and I'm not sure if I did get the bunny with the bow tie. Um, I can't see it as of now because of the packaging, but we'll see when I open it at the end of the year. 
I don't mind not having the one with the bow tie but I really wanted to have the one with the clover leaf because it's like good luck for the next year so these two are my weeks for next year I'm really happy about both of them and I hope to be able to use them very well and this one here again is the freebie pouch that they gave this year I think it's very useful and practical that they gave this one I'm definitely gonna use it for my A6 planner so I'm just putting everything back just the way it was so I'm sorry but I'm not gonna unbox each of the items because usually I don't unbox it right away. I wait until December 31 on New Year's Eve to unbox everything. So it's kind of like my New Year's Eve tradition and kind of settling into the new year. That's the time when I open everything. and. I set everything up for the coming year. So that's my Hobonichi haul for next year. Actually this is just the first box. I have a second one coming that has yet to arrive because I placed it on shipment hold. I got myself another A6 cover and when it arrives I'll make sure to share it with you guys. I didn't expect to get this much this year but there was just a lot of good items that came out so I just couldn't resist. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.